if my heart will not fear the war break out against me even then i will be confident for in the day of trouble he will keep me safe in his dwelling he will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent and set me high upon a rock hear my voice when i call lord be merciful to me and answer me Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me. God my savior. Teach me your way, Lord. Lead me in a straight path because of my oppressors. I remain confident of this I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living wait for the Lord be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord let's be seated greetings to everyone I thank I take this opportunity to thank the church and pastor for giving me the time uh this uh past couple of weeks has been very busy as uh, as, as you all know we are preparing to travel um god was uh, uh gave me a thought a couple of uh, months before and uh, this is one of the part of it uh as you look in this this psalm this psalm uh, has been written by david uh, and uh, this psalm starts uh like a, a stronghold uh, speaks about the sovereignty of the lord uh, how uh, it speaks about uh, war how god uh he speaks about prayer but it also at the end psalms 14 which i would like to take up today speaks uh more about waiting in the lord and uh about taking heart from uh, the waiting situation of the lord and something which i a thought that was uh, uh in my heart for a couple of months was on the same same uh, parameters and uh, the past week has been also very uh traumatizing for me as one of my close friends mom passed away and one of my distant relative also passed away on the same day so uh, i was speak- this all these things were in my heart and uh, i was uh trying to uh get strength from the scripture itself so i thought this would be something which i would like i would uh share uh with you so uh just taking the the last verse wait for the lord be strong and take heart and wait for the lord something similar to that james also speaks uh james 1 uh verses 2 to 4 uh if alvin you can take the slide on that second slide james says that consider it pure joy my brothers and sisters whenever you face trials of many kinds because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance that perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete not lacking anything so when you take the first word of a psalms like uh, psalms 14 uh, 27 14 wait for the lord and be strong wait for the lord wait for the lord waiting for the lord is not easy it's not about waiting for the like passive time waiting having nothing to do it's good it's good not the waiting for the lord for god is like it's a process that goes through till we reach the end it's painful it's like disciplining ourselves training there's a process it's it's like we go to certain trials in our life and testing of our faith is happening there and in all that's that's happening we are being getting ourselves stronger there's a process of endurance happening we take courage from all these trials one step from one trial from other trial we take courage that's the endurance process that we 
go through and keeping in all that we have the faith that we got when we came to Christ and uh, as we said like our definition of good time our interpretation of good time is very different than what we have with God the good times with God is it's like I was I told two weeks before our Joseph the moment he received the faith and the end when he when he is achieving what uh, his vision he saw a vision before and and the end when we when uh, when he gets the vision through during all those process the endurance he had to go through is very dramatic but he endured all through because of the faith he had the same way David when Samuel anointed him on that day and when he goes through all this process of endurance the faith he had one after the other the faith grew in himself and that's the endurance process that's what he's talking about over here and that exactly what James is saying about on all this process we have to keep the joy of Christ in us so I would like to go through quickly to even Moses had to go through all this process of endurance J uh, Romans 8 28 next slide It says, and we know that in all things God works for the good for all of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. 1 Peter 6 to 9. And this also, uh, Peter also talks about the same thing. Um, I don't want to read because of the time. Peter talks about the suffering in grief. When we go to the trials, different trials, we have a lot of suffering we have the grief a lot of grief in our lives that proves each time we have the genuineness of our faith how faith is tested how it refines ourselves how we come out of that there's a genuineness that God wants us to have true Christianity has a testing of the faith and Peter talks about that over here keeping the faith till we reach to the end end side of the bridge that's we see the salvation till that time we have to end, go through that endurance process and we have to keep the faith so uh, it's the the thing that I want to talk about this is keeping the faith creates a certain product uh, that's the patience that we have within us the faith uh, each trial we go through we have patience in Christ and that patience is nothing but endurance that nothing but perseverance that's what uh, James talk about like we certain times it's so tough it's so hard like even if we don't have enough finances with us we can't meet our own needs but we set apart a certain portion to give to the Lord set apart a certain portion to give to the ministry of the Lord that's because we have the faith in Christ sometimes even if uh, we don't have a, uh, we don't things are not going good in our offices maybe our bosses are not good but still we don't behave the same way which he behaved to us he or she behaved to us we show a good face we we we, we show up there and we uh, we give the support to them so we keep the faith that someday at the at the end God is God is leading the way and he's going to show us a, a, a good path to us so that's what's waiting on the on the Lord that's the procedures that procedure that we have to take it forward James says that in all of this is joy can you take the second, uh, next slide uh, yeah that's right John is right James says that let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete lack nothing in us uh, in, in the Psalms we read like take heart take heart means the perseverance that we go through till the end till we finish and we lack nothing uh, John 5 11 it speaks about like I have told you this so that my joy that I give you that your joy may be complete the joy that Christ gave us that's that's in us that's complete Nehemiah says that do not grieve for the joy of the Lord is the strength so I was thinking that we we go through all this trauma trauma is something that we all have it 
it it just shows up it doesn't go away it stays until it wants to stay with us so how do you get joy and god says my joy is the strength how how it makes you how the perseverance make you complete so there is there is happiness and there is joy we get there's a difference between happiness and joy we get happy that is derived by external sources that is governed by external sources we get a new job we are happy we got a new promotion we get happy we got a new business order a new contract we get happy we some we meet somebody we are happy but there is momentary of happiness christ doesn't speak about that christ speak about the joy that he has given to us because of his love on the calvary cross that's the joy that he has given to us that's the happiness that's the joy he's speaking about here that's the joy that nehemiah says that do not grieve for the joy of the lord is your strength hallelujah so now when i was thinking more into that i was thinking like christ was born he knew exactly what's going on he was born angels were singing he was pro- uh, the angels proclaimed about he was uh, when christ is going to get born the wise men coming they were bringing gifts the shepherds coming didn't he knew what's going to happen didn't he knew how it is going to turn up didn't he knew the people is going to beat him up didn't he knew his clothes going to turn away torn down didn't he knew his his face going to be spit on didn't he knew he's going to be put on the calvary cross yet he gave that he took that suffering he bore the suffering for us in joy in joy he gave the spirit for us that makes it complete that's the completion that he is going to he is speaking about here that's the completion that peter peter speaks about here that's a completer with james completion that james speaks about here here james when he came first came when before he was writing this scripture that guy was not in christ that guy was not in christ christ has to visit him one more time specially separately for him and then he came into christ and then he speaks about the joy of the christ he was martyred for the cause of christ the completion of the cross over here gives the joy to us because christ suffered everything on a friday and on the third day he rose up and that the joy that the strength he has given to us we know when we go through the trial we know we have the faith when the faith is tested it produces endurances and that endurances finishes up and we reach the end goal to see the salvation and that's the joy that is within us that's what sam is says wait for the lord be strong and take heart and wait for the lord so as we live in this world we know there is suffering we know there is trial and we go through the trial with patience with endurance taking heart with joy until the end we fa- we get the salvation that's the joy that we have in christ praise lord amen because there is when i was thinking more into that there is there is the like a, it's like a bridge the one end another there is another end of the bridge and there is a path that is set set there that path is the foundation that is faith each step we take there's a path we take we take step in faith and till we reach the other side of the bridge each step we have to take in endurance we have to take in in, in faith and when we reach the other side of the bridge we reach salvation that's the goal is there otherwise there's no meaning of the bridge if there is no road in there few meters the road is dead there's no point of a bridge so here we have a bridge here we have a starting point but we have to reach the end point that we have to wait on the lord take the heart till we reach the end amen thank you church thank you pastor for giving me the time